and we're back with another episode of the thousand dollar mustang build series i just wanted to go over a few things with you guys show you where we're at and what we got planned and what we got going on for the car as you guys know if you watched my last video i picked up a 1996 mustang gt for a thousand dollars off marketplace basically the deal of a lifetime on this car um v8 dyna up like i said so it has some stuff going for it has Tokiko shocks, Eibach lowering springs, has the Kenny Brown strut bar, and I'll try to get you guys a view underneath. It is, you can see it's all braced up on the subframe. I was out here messing around the other day. I pulled the regulator out of this door here and Pulled this one apart, which it had a brand new regulator in it already, but I think this isn't the right one. It looked different from the one that was in the, the factory one that was in that door over there. And of course, got it all back together and it doesn't work. And I think our problem is that this is aftermarket glass and someone put the wrong glass in it. Cause if you look, when you shut it, it doesn't line up right. It has almost too much of a curvature. So let me know what you guys think I should do. If I should pull the glass out of that other door over there and try to put it in this one. Or I was also thinking maybe to just get that door painted to match the car and just swap off over the whole door might be easier. Or if you know any kind of like factory replacement glass at least that i could just you know pull this one out and put right back in because to be honest with you i've never changed a window glass i've done the motors i've done the regulators but i've never done the glass and it kind of intimidates me to do it so i'm just taking it to a shop and having them do it but as you guys can see i pulled the serpentine belt off i have a new one and then what I'm going to be getting into today is pulling the power steering pump off. I'll try to go ahead and drop the steering rack as well. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that fitting right there is blown out. Um, a couple of these lines up here are blown out. The whole power steering pump's leaking. So I think I'm just going to play it safe and redo all of this. Yeah, the replacement rack and pinion is only 130 bucks, and so was the power steering pump. And there's like a $35 core charge, so $200 to replace everything. And then I might do the tie rods as well because they're not looking so great. Of course, who knows how old that filter is. I'm going to do, you know, the oil change and probably flush the coolant and just go over everything. All right, so here's our power steering pump here. If you guys can see there's a bolt here and then there's two more so as you can see i got the old power steering pump out i just got to get the feed line off here is the new one already has the pulley and everything like i said 130 bucks for my rileys can't beat it so i'll pull that line off it's pretty easy to get off there's just four bolts and then the two lines so we one day we'll have a fancy shop with a lift but for now i'm working on jack stands the struggle is real out here i love it too laying on the nice dirty ground got some cardboard in the freezing cold so why you guys need to subscribe that way one day we could get a nice shop with a lift and everything but we got heat courtesy of my neighbor I don't know how much it's gonna do. Hopefully it helps out some. My garage isn't big. It's just a little one car garage. Got the new pump all in. So I'm not gonna be able to completely finish it, but it's in, it's bolted up. The main line's hooked up, but this line right here, I, get, I gotta get a new O-ring for. It looks like he had like some thread tape or something on there, but yeah, that's not going to work. I was going to pull the steering rack off today, too. So I did the tie rods, but they don't want to come out. I got to get a pickle fork. I don't have one. 
So that will be next weekend's job, doing replacing the steering rack and everything. And after that, I put a new serpentine belt on, change the oil, and I think we should be able to drive it at least. Other than doing that stuff, the brakes and everything are good. Everything's tight. Um, plans for the car. I got to get the passenger window right, get that all together. And then I think I'm going to do a black carpet and then get some seats for it. I don't know if I want to try to find a nice pair of factory seats or get some Corbo aftermarket ones or something. Yeah, basically the plan is to sell the black car and then use some of the money from that to put into this car. I'm kind of at the point where I don't want to put more into a car that I know that I can get back out of it. I've learned my lesson in the past doing that where, you know, I'd buy a car for three grand, put five into it, and then the car only be worth four grand, four or five grand. This one I got for a thousand bucks. So I'm going to try to keep the budget hopefully around like three grand if I could get a nice set of wheel to get everything cleaned up to where it's looking good and riding good i'll be happy with it now, i'm pretty new to doing work like this i grew up in a garage my dad was a mechanic but i never really got too hands on so this one's kind of been a learning curve as far as everything goes i know it's just going to make it even more rewarding when it all comes together and i can finally drive it around i don't know about you guys i kind of enjoy working on it more than i even do driving it so my plan is to do the steering rack next weekend, put the new serpentine belt on, change the oil, and hopefully we could take it for a ride. Follow along, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next weekend on the next one. Peace.